All right, guys, today we're going to talk about socks. Yes, I know. It's not one of our more sexy topics, uh, but nevertheless, it's, it's an important one and one that I don't think gets enough uh, attention. If you're a guy, you know, a light infantry guy or soft guy, law enforcement dude, you know, avid, avid uh, civilian hiker or something, you know, you, you'll get the importance, but some people really don't. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this. Initially, this is just going to be about darn tough socks. In my opinion, they are top of the heap in terms of hiking socks or tactical socks or anything like that. I have nothing but good things to say about their socks. Uh, but I wanted to compare some others too. And keep in mind, you know, the bulk of these socks are at least over four years old. Uh, some of them are six, seven years old. So, um, and these are from a variety of brands. I probably have like 40 or 50 extra pairs of boot socks somewhere. Just didn't feel like digging through all of them. But these are kind of, kind of some of the big names. I wanted to stack them up against Darn Tough and give you a... Uh, Kind of why I choose darn tough, right? So, start off with a boot sock. What I kind of look for, um, I like light cushion, crew height. I don't really like the super long ones that much. I don't think they're that beneficial, even if you're wearing an eight-inch boot. Don't really think it makes a difference, but that's just me personally. I like a light cushion because I don't like thick cushions. Uh, because when you're doing longer movements. Or if you're doing a movement where the type of socks you're wearing actually does matter, um, chances are your feet will be wet at some point, either via water crossing or uh, sweat. So I'm not a big fan of thick socks. I don't like it. Because anytime they absorb water, it's just like walking on sponges, you know? I mean, it's just, and that causes blisters and other issues with your feet, which is not good. So now you kind of get what I go for. Oh, also, I'd also like to go with a merino wool blend. I'll, pretty much all these socks or merino wool, with the exception, I think, of a set of Nike socks, but or they're a blend of, of, of that. Works well with my feet. I've had no issues with any of these, really. Um, but yeah, that's just me personally. So now that that's out of the way, this is my first pair of Darn Tufts. So I got these right after Rasp. Um, these things are going on over six years old. I mean, these things are, are uh, I've been through the ringer, and the guy, the cadre came out and dropped like a box in front of us. We're like, here, t everybody take two pairs. Didn't know what they were. Didn't even know what Darn Tough was at the time, but they are a big deal, right? <laughs> so I got these two pairs. This pair has lasted a long time. Um, I don't know where the other pair is, but regardless, these things have been through everything with me. Every long movement, every deployment, every training event, every, I mean, you, you name it, they've been through the ringer and they've held strong. I mean, there's no tears in sight. Um, a lot of times on boot socks, especially padded ones, you'll notice that the pads start to thin out over time. That's not the case with these. They've retained their shape. The only thing that you can see is like the pilling and everything from multiple washes with other clothes over the years. But I mean, these are, these are great socks. I mean, I cannot speak more highly on Darn Tough. We also got issued a few other pairs of Darn Toughs. These are like their winter sock, I think. Basically, they're just a lot thicker. Um, and they started putting these numbers, the model numbers on there. I guess that would be for ease of ordering, but I could be wrong. But regardless, I didn't really use these very much because I was mainly in the Southeast or every time I was overseas, it was not that cold. So the one thing I did start using these for is if I had to bed down at night and it was kind of chilly, I would slip these on kind of like little, you know, patrol based slippers, I guess, but they, they work pretty well and they're good socks and they've held up pretty well every time too. So these are about four years old, roughly. So nevertheless, good socks. Smart wool. Smart wool is the other big kind of competitor, I would guess, for Darn Tough. They do make great socks. I will not uh, brand bash here at all. I mean, they do make good socks. This is, I think, the PhD, you know, the Merino wool blend, about crew height. Got these right before Ranger School, I think. Um, the pads are starting to thin out, which is kind of disappointing considering these don't have as much use as my Darn Tufts, and these are actually younger and have less miles on them, but they're still more worn out. But hey, you know, I guess it happens, especially when you're pushing your your feet to the brink. And then this is another pair of Smart Wools. I don't remember what exact model number this is, but these ones are pretty good. They're a little thicker than thin, but they're still pretty thin. Good socks, but if you can see right there, they're starting to get a little hole. Um, which is unfortunate because 
These are, again, only about four years old and they're already breaking down. So give it another six months or a year, these will probably have a hole in them. So not good. These are Fox River Merino wool socks. I've had the other Fox Rivers, like the kind of the ones they're always known for. I didn't, I was not impressed personally. Uh, they didn't work well on my feet. They were kind of felt weird, made of a weird material. These ones are pretty good, the Merino wool ones. I've had these, I don't even know how long, a few years. And these ones are even less durable than the small wools. I mean, these are thinned out to nothing in the heel. It's just, uh, these will get holes in any moment. So not bad socks, but for probably what I paid for them, not really that great. These ones have a lot of hype behind them right now, the Farm to Feet. I had never even heard of these guys until like right around a year and a half, two years ago. I got issued a bunch of these socks. These are like the thick cushion. I got a bunch of green, like light cushion ones. I haven't really tested these enough to really warrant like an opinion, but nevertheless, I don't know. I'd, I'd still probably go with the Darn Tufts just after wearing these a couple times, but not that they're bad, they're not. I just, I just, I can't really make an educated uh, opinion on these yet. So hopefully over the next year or two, I can really break these babies in and give you a good opinion. These are the Nike socks. So they're like their special field, tactical, whatever socks that they used to make. Um, I don't know if they still make them. These things were awesome in Florida because they're really thin. So that goes into another thing. I know I said I liked light cushion socks, but if you guys are anticipating water movements at any point during the day, might be smart before you start that day off to change into a pair of extremely thin socks. Because, you know, light cushion might be great for a stream crossing or whatever, but if you know your feet are gonna be soaked all day or maybe you're moving at night and you won't have the sun to dry you off, having a thin pair is better than having any padding at all. Just because again, like we went into, uh, it soaks up a lot of water and it's like walking on a sponge. So uh, having one or two thin pairs of socks in your arsenal would be good. Darn tough, makes some thin ones too. I'm sure you could hit them up. I just got these because my aunt works for Nike and uh, hooks me up with Nike stuff. But these again are kind of wearing out a little bit, but overall I'm pretty impressed because I did not think they would even last this long. Got these right before Ranger School and pretty decent. This is a pair they sent me to test out. I didn't even open them. I didn't really need to. These are light cushion. The only difference between these and the old ones are um, these are longer. Like I said, I'm not really a big fan of the, like the real long ones, but um, I'm sure they're fine. They, they can't be any different than the ones they, uh, the other ones they sent me, which are these ones, which are basically just a modernized version of the one I showed you earlier, the Tactical Crew Sock Light Cushion Merino Wool. It's got the numbers on there, like I was saying, the little model number. Uh, these things are awesome, guys. I've only used these once so far on a hike, and I didn't really feel like I needed to use them a lot more to validate because... I've been using Darn Tough for years, and I can tell you that this is a brand you can rely on. They have a lifetime warranty, which you'll probably never ever have to use. Um, they make great boot socks, and I've been I've spent a lot of time on my feet over the past uh, few years, and I have not had a whole lot of foot issues. And I can attribute probably eighty percent of that reasoning to the proper socks, and nine times out of ten, that's going to be Darn Tough branded socks. Um, so, you know, guys. Again, I can't speak more highly of them. Um, you know, here's the original pair, you know, over six years old, been through everything. Um, every ranger that I know swears by Darn Tough, and I think it's the same of every major, you know, outdoors guy who's ever had them. Um, if you guys are looking for a good set of socks and you guys are on the way to selection, or maybe you guys are in the military, or maybe you guys just want a good pair of socks when you're hiking around outside, um, check them out because I, I, I truly, uh, I cannot speak more highly of this brand of socks, and they've saved my feet on multiple occasions. And uh, I can attribute uh, part of my successes over the years to uh, having the right things on my feet uh, throughout those uh, validation events. So, they're tough. Check them out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, leave a comment below. Click the link. You know, whatever you got to do. But uh, let's keep us going and uh, get some more info out there for you guys.